ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஓடூ டெவலப்மெண்ட் டூட்டோரியல்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் பின் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் திங்ஸ் லைக் மாடல்ஸ் அண்ட் வியூஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் அண்ட் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு த பார்ட் கால்ட் செக்யூரிட்டி ஸோ யூ ஆல் நோ தட் செக்யூரிட்டி இஸ் வெரி வைட்டல் இன் யூர் இஹாப்பி சிஸ்டம் uh we need to have different access levels in our system uh we cannot provide the accounts details to a serious person or any uh, technical person or production uh, person that uh, and uh, some cases you uh, you have to control the records to uh, being altered from the uh, lower authority uh, it should be managed by the managing manager level uh, access that kind of things that we have to be implement we have we should implement in our uh, erp system so how we can implement that access rights that security levels in odoo system uh, in your custom module that's what we are going to uh, discuss you may have seen that in your sales you can see the three different uh, access levels uh, like uh, user on documents only and all documents and manager kind of things so in this video we are going to check the uh, how we can create how we can uh, set up our own access level in uh, our modules uh, so this access levels are managed by uh, using uh, groups okay access groups so we have to create access groups and we have to provide the access uh, rules uh, that is applicable for each models that means each tables and uh, just uh, providing a uh, without uh, access rules these records can be accessed by any person in indirectly using url or something like that is using api calls and kind of things uh, uh, we can access these things anyone can access these things even if they don't have access to that model we have not specified uh, any access rules or groups to that model so uh, that is a security breach to avoid this we have to provide uh, access rights access rights rule for each models in our system so uh, we are going to the code how we can do this so basically we have our course open academy course model and also we have sessions okay open academy sessions so we have to provide access rules for these two models and uh, we need a group okay so first what we are doing is we put a field uh, sorry we put a folder directory under our open academy module it's called security uh, the name is not, not that uh, important but uh, to make it standard you have to give that uh, security so that uh, the improves the structure and the readability of your module the under you we put a security.xml file the we define a group so it's a just a data file uh, record so uh, this will create a group open academy manager so it's just a, uh, just like our views and other data files it's a element of custod groups table the name is given open academy slash manager so the id is given group open academy manager so when we update this module or we install this module this group will be automatically created in our system then what we have to do is we have to mention the read write and uh, edit delete options for each element uh, sorry each uh, to each models uh the for that we are using this file called ir.model.access.csv so uh, normally it's uh, handled like this 
or you can create XML records for uh, this purpose also but it's the easiest method so uh, this have a structure called ID name you see the first line represents the uh, columns of that table so I uh, it's it is in the order that we have given we put uh, four access through uh, access rules are given here so uh, this is the order and the first one is id the second one this one is the name of that access rule the model it should be applied on is given here the model open academy dot course and the group id uh, to which group the uh, account uh, access group uh, the role is applicable on and uh, the permission read permission write permission create permission unlink so for the manager all these four controls are enabled and uh, for the session also uh, for the session also the group uh, open academy manager have the access to read and write or create delete everything so uh, this is how we provided the access for the manager and this is for the all users in the system so they can uh, because we have in the provided a group so it will be available for all the uh, all the users in the system so course read all course read uh, it's a name uh, the id of the user uh, it's a name and this is the model same as the uh, managers and the group is kept empty so that uh, it is uh, applicable for the all users if you want to make it to, for the open academy user level uh, group only applicable for those uh, only available for those group we can create a new group under here uh, it's called open academy slash user and we can provide that group id here okay then uh, this group only have uh, the read access to these records so they cannot create or they cannot edit or delete the existing courses or the sessions that is already created in the system by the manager. Uh, they can just, the users can just read that records. So this is how our uh, access rules are defined. Uh, we are defining in Odoo. Uh, it's, uh, I, it's the name the file name is ir.model.access.csv so what happened is uh, we have to now we have to mention these files in our manifest you see the security.xml is defined here and uh, the security.ir.model.access.csv uh, files also mentioned here then we need to restart the service the project rerun the project and go back to the system the, and the apps let's go to an update So this open academy there won't be any changes in the user interface but it's happened in the uh, access levels so let's go to settings okay so you can see the groups Open Academy Manager, it's defined here. So this uh, access rights, you can see the course manager, the name that we have given there, and the object Open Academy course, the session manager. You see the access rights defined, 
and uh, one week, once we check the models we can also see the this is under the groups okay and under the models you can see search for the open open academy course you can see the access rights course all the course manager is all defined here so the access rules that we have given is loaded into the system now and uh, in the user page we can opt the access group you can see the open academy manager access rights is already checked so uh, this is how the user account will be visible now we are in the developer mode so uh, if we leave the developer mode this option will not be visible okay the other open academy manager it's not that uh, easy when we have more than one access level for the open academy so we, what we have to make, uh, do is we have to make something like this you see here under the administration you see the access rights settings so it will be more uh, user friendly uh, to have a option like this so what to do uh, to make our user groups like that okay so uh, for that we need a uh, module category and we have to mention the group uh, when uh, in the group record that we have created here we have to mention uh, under which category this group comes okay so that's what we are going to do so uh, if you want to uh, have an example for that you can get that from the base base module of Odoo So let's check. Here dot module category is Yes, I have dot module category data. This is our file. So in that file, you can see the uh, there are many uh, module categories are defined. So based on these, uh, all that uh, things are coming under the users. So you can see uh, there are many module categories that is defined in the base module of Odoo. So uh, we have to create a base category like this. Okay, let's close this base dot group. So we are going to so this is our record so uh, ir.module.category and given a, a unique id for this uh, module category open academy and given a name uh, its name is mandatory so you have to give that and the field name description and uh, something that you want to describe this category and the sequence number uh, to prioritize the uh, category so uh, as you can see uh, same, uh, like this we have here uh, the user types marketing etc okay the operations and of things so these uh, we have to mention this category for this user group So uh, under the open 
academy manager we have put the category id reference open academy dot module category open academy so uh, the name id of this module category and the module name is given open academy so we are uh, all set let's upgrade our module and see what happens You see the open academy is came here like this so if you have uh, more than one access levels it will be listed like this under the same category okay so i hope you understand the video and enjoyed the session uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel to get more updates about the odoo development and other uh, functional and kind of things related to odoo once again thanks for watching If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com